want to do a very quick little video today, mainly because it is 107 degrees outside, and when I do videos, I gotta turn off our central air. So I don't wanna do that. It's been really hot here the last couple days, even got up to 111. And I am old and fat and hairy, which means I don't do hot very well. So I wanna keep this quick. I had a question to come in during my live chat the other night from two different people, and I've had it before because it's something I have mentioned a lot when I said that I was never really fond of these type guns here, these uh, 327s, the 8-shot 357 Magnums. And it has nothing to do with the build material like of this gun. It just had to do with that big gap right there in the front. And a lot of people have asked me, well, why is that big gap there? As you can see, you can almost stick your finger in there. I mean, that's a pretty big gap right there. That's huge. And a lot of people's like, why is it there? I mean, you could almost stick, well, some some of the people out there that love to wear the uh, Ed Hardy t-shirts and the camo pants could probably stick the other parts of their body in there. But it's a, a sizable gap. And people say, why is it there? Well, it's there for a very specific reason. You got to remember, to get eight rounds in these guns, you got to put it a bigger cylinder in it, which means you need a bigger frame. And it's not just this gun. This also has the big gap on the 627, both the performance center model and just like the regular uh, 627s with the four inch barrels and the five inch barrels. And you also see it in like the 625, which is a 45 ACP in the larger frame guns. But the frame is the key there. These frames are made for 44 Magnum. So therefore the cutout in here is cut for the length of a cylinder for a 44 Magnum. And 357 Magnum and 45 ACP and everything is shorter. And since they can't make a new frame for these guns, well they could, but they're not gonna cause that would be very cost prohibitive, they just put a shorter cylinder in here. Now a lot of people say, well why not just make the cylinder longer? Well there's two reasons why they don't just make the cylinder longer. One is weight. In the day and age today where carry is king and being easily carried is like the most important thing about a handgun, they save weight by making the cylinder shorter. And also they make the gun shorter by not lengthening the cylinder because this two inch barrel can have a much shorter shroud on it if it goes farther into the gun. As you can see there, the barrel goes quite a bit in there. The barrel actually uses up that space. So therefore, this gun can have a full two inch barrel, but have the same length barrel shroud it would have if it had a one inch barrel or a one and a half inch barrel. You know, just, you know, you get the math there. You understand what I'm trying to say. So that's why, that's why the big gap is there. The gap is there because these frames are cut for 44 Magnum. These cylinders are 357 Magnum length. If you look at the one with the 45 ACP, they're 45 ACP length. So that makes up, that makes that big gap. And they don't close that gap simply because, like I said, it'd be too expensive to make the new frames and it gives them a little extra barrel length. They get to push the barrel back farther into the gun. So if you can live with that, there's nothing wrong with it. This is no uh, more prone to failure, no less reliable, nothing. There's no performance issues with this. It's just purely aesthetic. And, you know, sometimes aesthetic things bother me. But, you know, I'm kind of overcoming it because, you know, if you can get eight shots of 357 Magnum in such a small and easy to carry gun, why not? It's worth having a little bit of a gap right there. I mean, all my parts don't come quite together like they used to anymore. And some parts come together too much. So I can't be one to complain about proper spacing between parts. So, so that's the answer. That's why that gap is there. And that's why it's probably always going to be there. But in the end, it does have its good and its bad, but it really doesn't matter. You just have to decide whether you're willing to live with it or not. And if you are, you can get a great gun.